Leah from LeahGriffith.com and this is part two of my kitchen and dining room tour and today I'm going to show you the dining room. The first thing I want to talk about is how we've taken the kitchen floating shelves and cabinets and we've worked them around into the dining room. So I see this as almost my china cabinet where I can put all my pretty dishes, I have my wine glasses, and also I love making this a beautiful display by incorporating different pieces of artwork and also some plants. Of course, the focus of a dining room is the dining room table. And for this space, it just felt right to pick a nice round table that seats four. And this is a mid-century style that is in a dark walnut. I then picked four chairs that are just simple classic chairs to bring a bit more of an older vintage look. And to finish this clean classic look, I've chosen a Capiz light fixture, which is almost a sculpture above the table. After putting this dining room together, the last touch that I wanted to add was to paint just one wall in this pale blush pink. It seemed to really ground the space and it made a beautiful backdrop for my artwork. One way that you can really join two spaces that are used for different purposes, like a kitchen, a breakfast nook, and a dining room, is to pick cohesive artwork that plays throughout all areas of the room. So I anchored all of the artwork with this large piece that picks up colors of all the different elements in this room. And then I chose different pieces to coordinate and enhance and kind of offset this large piece. And I've placed them all in my dining room and my kitchen. I would say that probably my favorite look is perching some of these art pieces on the open shelves. I feel like one of the ways that you could add hominess to almost any room, whether it be the kitchen, the dining room, your living room, even a bathroom, is to add plants. And as you can see, we have both live plants and some of our paper plants. I hope you've enjoyed a peek at my dining room, and if you haven't seen it yet, make sure and go watch the video about the kitchen. And in the next video, I'll be sharing my living room.